Review of Mr. Sishraim, step number nine. Yeras Chet, to be in awe of sin. Meaning really to understand the, the power that we have as human beings to build or destroy the world. Um, the world is created for me. So we have a tremendous power understanding how much greatness Hashem gave us, how much free will He gave us, how much, you know, uh, responsibility he allowed to put in our hand. That's really the power. Understand that doing any action can really destroy Hashem's honor. Definition of Yirashet, worrying at every moment that we might do something against the Kavod Hashem. Hashem created us for His Kavod. This is the purpose of my life. The purpose of my life is to bring honor and pride to Hashem and as a Jew especially, pushing the whole world to recognize Hashem's greatness. So any one of my action has to be directed towards that. I don't want to do anything that's going to prevent this in the world. Two types of Yira, the easy one and the, and the scary one. People will translate the Yira as fear. It's not fear, it's to mean awe. So, but the lowest level of awe is fear of punishment. That's the easy type of Yira. I'm afraid I do something, I'm punished, I'm afraid of the punishment. But the harder level to achieve is a twofold. One is to be in awe of God's majesty, of God's honor, uh, which happens usually at specific times, you know, when we're in synagogue, when we are at a holy day or Shabbat. And um, it only comes from knowledge and understanding. You are learning something and all of a sudden I have a grasp of Hashem's greatness and it's like, wow. I'm, I'm in awe of who Hashem is. I feel so little, so insignificant. I realized like, well, if I knew that, I'll be, I would act more carefully. Number two is the fear on, on every action in case it might bring dishonor to God. So this should be all the time. Like she see Hashem in the We have to understand that Hashem is take me, technically, Hashem is with me all the time. Hashem, imagine you live in Ganeden here. Imagine I, you holding Hashem's hand uh, every second of your life. Like you have feeling on you all the time, technically, and you're supposed to be all day, and you have your tzitzit to remind you all the, all the time. Imagine that this is, that Hashem is with you. You're holding Hashem's hands. The moment you sin, it's, you let Hashem go of your hand. So this is really, what we're trying to do, how would you act if you're in Hashem's presence? So one of the ways we do it is a mitzvah of David Bashem to be attached to Hashem and the rabbi says, how do you fulfill it? Being attached to your Rebbe. So how would you, what do you think your Rebbe will say if you will act that way, right? In his presence, if you speak that way in his presence, if you speak to him in his presence, if you dress like that in his presence. Um, or another way to do it is with your wife, David Bishto, also connected in connect, being David Bashem. How do you think your wife will feel if you look at another woman while you're walking the street with her. Oh, or, right? So whether you're her or not. So you have to imagine your wife is next to you all the time. You have to imagine your Rebbe is next to you all the time. Ultimately, that's the training to feel that Hashem is with you all the time. So we will act differently, we speak differently, we behave differently. We'll be careful that everything we do is made with the proper respect and carefulness. Now there's two different times to consider the present and the future, that's for immediate action, and the past, what was or what has already been done. So this gives us perspective, what I did wrong in the past, how did I feel, did I work out, did I bring cover to Hashem or not, and the present and the future is for me to now live with Hashem, what can I do and what actions I'm going to do that is going to bring more cover to Hashem. Now how to acquire it, this is you need constant reflection, and meditation upon two truths. One, that God's Shrina is present everywhere in the world. So that's Shibi Siyash Amin Damid. Everywhere I go, this is the Shrina. Even in the bathroom, technically, this is the Shrina. We don't think about it out of respect. But Hashem is holding your hand everywhere. So imagine you're holding Hashem's hands even when you go to the bathroom. Some people, they sin in the bathroom. Some people, whatever, they sin in every, every place. So imagine you with Hashem with him there. So what happened when we were, were, were letting Hashem go each time we decide not to sin and not... So if Hashem is with me all the time, I'm not gonna... I don't wanna... I want Hashem to stay with me. I want Hashem to, to be proud of me and to not do anything that is gonna damage His presence. Because when I do a sin, it can create a vacuum. There's less Godliness in, at that moment. And number two, provide providence over everything small, great, nothing is hidden from Him. Absolutely everything that happens, everything is, Hashem is everywhere. Hashem is speaking to you through everything. 
and therefore I have to look at it, everything as providence. I take everything. I don't take everything for granted. I take everything as a gift, as an opportunity to understand that it's all Hashem talking to me, and therefore the way I'm going to respond is going to create Chilul Hashem or Kiddush Hashem. Um, so act as if it is true, and you will start feeling it. Right, so that's one of the techniques. If you behave as if Hashem is really sitting next to you, so I won't be like that on my chair, but I'm standing like that because Hashem is, is with me, I'm going to be stand, sitting like that or perhaps even standing. Uh, so I would, um, I would do it, I will, I, I will do it like that. So, or I don't feel it, but you do it and you do as if you act, you have to be an actor, you have to be acting as if this is what's happening, that Hashem is with me. Uh, what prevents us from acquiring that though is inattention, so distraction and lack of study. Those are the two things that prevents us from acquiring it. So we have to study more about Hashem, Hashem's greatness, Kabbalah especially, and makes us aware of, of Hashem's greatness and how much impact our actions do. And um, inattention, um, distraction from being busy with the world and not being focused on Hashem Himself all the time. There's those little cards, Shibisi Hashem and Tamid, that is great to have. Place God in front of me, I put one in my car, it prevents me from getting angry when someone cuts me off. You put it in, 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 uh, in every one of your rooms where you pray. Hashem is not just in the synagogue or in the shul, so you use that for every moment, uh, wherever you, every situation, every place. And God willing, uh, that's when you kiss your, kiss your mezuzah, you're reminded of that. Wherever you go, Hashem is going to be there. Be careful how you act. So God willing, may we achieve that tremendous level of Yas Hashem and uh, change the world. Have a great day. Amen.